as you know by now, I am definitely a major fan of my heritage. And no, I'm not, is it called a shill? Someone who just pretends to be a big fan of something because they're getting paid on the side? I'm not that. I truly, genuinely prefer my heritage over the other companies. Uh, I've got the app as of this weekend, finally. And so I'm looking at this on my phone for my, for my results, which I received back this summer. But here's one of the reasons I prefer my heritage over 23andMe and other companies. So for example, my dad, as we learned from his 23andMe test, is something to the effect of a quarter German and then the rest is British. That's pretty much what his test said. But I am more German than he is. I'm showing 37.4% North and Western European. And you could say, oh, but that, what about England? Well, no, no, no. With my heritage, it specifically says 0% English, 0% Finnish, 0% Irish, Scottish, and Welsh, and 0% Scandinavian. So what does that leave you with? Pretty much it leaves you with Germany, France, and what, Belgium, I guess? Because obviously Southern Europe is going to be Iberian, Greek, Italian, Sardinian. Uh, so... And I'm also explicitly not Italian, not Greek, not Sardinian as well. So I just like that better than when I saw my results, saw the results from my dad and my sister on 23andMe. It doesn't specifically tell you like English, Scottish, Irish, Welsh, Finnish. It's not so specific with those. It just keeps it generic from what I can see on their test. So it's funny, and this is gonna sound dumb me saying it out loud, but I'm just so proud of my results that I am mainly, because then, as you know, I'm 31.8% uh, Iberian. I just really like that mix. I like German and Spanish. It, I think it works well with me. But for some reason, I just didn't want to be British. I'm sorry, I don't know why. I just have never really had a connection to British things other than maybe, well, music. You know, Oasis and the Beatles and a few things like that. But. It, me being a vegan, how could I ever eat in England? That wouldn't even make sense. I just, and then the whole thing about the king and the queen and the prince, I'm like, eh, I don't know. I just don't have, I don't feel a connection to Britain. But somehow, when I see this, that I'm German and I'm basically Spanish, that makes sense to me. But, but anyway, the point is, from what I can tell, 23andMe is not specific to tell you whether you're Scottish or specifically English or Irish or Welsh, they're not that way. They just keep it generic by saying North and Western European. But if you go with my heritage, it'll specifically say, like it does on mine, and I don't know if it can zoom in on here or not, probably not, but on mine, it specific, there it is, it does work. It specifically says that I'm definitely not English and Finnish and Scottish and all those things. So. I'm making this video just in case anyone's trying to figure out which one they want to use. I feel that 23andMe has some fancier gadgets. It can tell you more like whether or not you're going to sneeze after you eat chocolate, which, okay, I guess that matters to somebody. It doesn't matter to me. I want to know, not, not only do I want to know what I am, I want to know what I'm not. I want to know which genes I definitely have inherited from my parents and show up in my DNA and show up in my features and which ones specifically don't. Knowing what I definitely am matters to me just as much as knowing what I definitely am not. So that's how I feel about it. If I'm wrong and somehow my heritage does tell you that you're definitely Scottish, let me know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I want to learn. But that's my version of reality right now.